Walking through the aisles of the Arctic Circle Assembly this week, I saw eco-friendly that and environmental this. So I was a bit surprised when I saw a flyer advertising seal skin, seal fur, as environmentally sustainable, ethical, moral, you name it. Now I'm a kid from America. I grew up in the 80s. I remember the anti-fur movement. To me, a seal clubber is an evil person, but apparently times have changed. To find out more, we tracked down a native Greenlander and a spokesperson for their fur industry. Take a listen. Tell us what you're wearing right now. Well, today I'm wearing a vest made of uh, seal skin fur. That's from Greenland, and it's made by uh, Great Greenland Fur House, which is placed in Greenland. So this is sustainable uh, clothing from Greenland. So sustainable seal clothing. I think people in America might be surprised. In, in parts of America, fur is out of fashion because of uh, ethical or moral questions. Um, is that not the case in Nordic countries? That's not the case at all in the Nordic countries and, and not at all in Greenland either. Um, so I think it's the view that you present for me here, uh, which I know very well, uh, might be a little old fashioned in a sense that you, you have notions going back to the 70s where you had killing of, of, of baby seals, which is not at all the case today. You, you have lots of seals first and foremost, and uh, the, the seals that are uh, killed today are, are adults. They're grown-up so seals. They volunteer yeah. for it. <laughs> More or less. Well, the, I mean, the results are beautiful. We're trying to, to get the message out there that it's okay, it's legitimate to wear a seal. Now, just to make sure that wasn't a lot of industry propaganda, we also tracked down Jan Bergwald. He's an Arctic campaigner with Greenpeace. Now, Greenpeace was one of the organizations that led the anti-fur movement in the 1980s, but they've changed their tune. I think it's great. It's also, um, we need to move beyond the notion that all sealing and, and seal products are a bad thing. Because a lot of the indigenous under, all the indigenous under in the Arctic is actually sustainable. I think it's good that we can start promoting the, the sustainable seal products. Uh, yeah. Oh, so it is okay to wear, wear a seal now. It's, it's not. I, f I remember in the 1970s, it mm. didn't feel like Greenpeace was behind the wearing of seal products, but no. you're now saying sustainable seal is a real thing. Don't feel bad. It's true that in the 70s and 80s, uh, Greenpeace ran campaign against the industrial com commercial sealing uh, that happened mainly in Canada. Uh, the problem was that it also had a quite negative impact on the indigenous sealing, uh, which happens in Canada, Alaska, and then Greenland. Um, which was never the intention, uh, because it's a sustainable hunt. They use all of the animal, like they eat the meat, they, what they can't eat, they use uh, for, foot, for foot, for feet, foot for the, for the dogs. Yeah. And, and, and so it's a very sustainable way of hunting, um, and there's no problem with the population or anything. So we're actually fully supportive of the indigenous seal hunt.